This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Bro gang, <laughs> we are joined by the slap of the bass, Lauren Schlossman, <laughs> and myself. I just royally blew myself, James Harris. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the weekly running of the boys. I'm going to fucking slap the camera by accident. Please don't. With today's full episode only available on patreon.com slash fun fits. Lawrence, how many movies you watched this week? Just two. What? What have you been doing? <laughs> I've been fucking, we've been working, bro. No, we haven't. We've been hanging out. Why don't you explain why you have this game? Um, why you have John, the, the remnants of John Moy, but not John Moy. Streets are saying the Angela Urrutia episode was a fucking classic. And the streets, I mean, the information superhighway. Um, and it was honestly so much fun yeah. just chopping it up for two and a half hours with him on mic that we were like, let's just keep this going. That, yeah, that was only going to like one. That was, to say, that was only one sixth of the amount of time that we spent with him. Yeah. Then. And um, he had we had so much fun together. And the people that joined us uh, throughout the <laughs> half day that we spent together that he left his fucking medical accessory at the crib. Yeah. Along with, Oh, you left all your Johns here, but that was that. No, wait, did you? Yeah. But, yeah, I didn't but, that was, but then I saw you on Sunday. I had a, I had a drafted Instagram story from that night that never posted. That was just Gene running around wearing uh, the pod shorts over his pants. <laughs> Do you that? He was just like, Thank God. Up. I can think of posted. Yeah. Oh, um, Lord. Yeah. We had a big one. <laughs> yeah. Parting with the guests is like fun, but dangerous, but, well, this is now Great. we're two for two with Tyrell and then Angela, where it turned into an all night affair. Yeah, but like when you started, what we start? We started at like two o'clock. So like I don't know, somewhere around there. Yeah. Right? Um, before we get into record setting pod short sales, <laughs> relatively speaking, uh, <laughs> defending your woman's honor, like the chivalrous night that we are, nights that we are, um, and trends that we don't want to fucking see this summer. You're on notice if this. That's, if you the, already that's got the this. negative version of versus like things that we're excited for. Oh, jorts! Wanna, <laughs> you're you're going to take us on your jorts journey. <laughs> yeah, dude, that should be the title, dude. A little jorts journey. Let's get into a fit check. Okay, why don't you start us off, bro? Well, I got to write the okay. title real quick. Should I go do first? You do jorts with a Y. With a Y, like Johns. But where is the Why, why are you saying Y? Sorry, with a Z. <laughs> Jordy's John's with a Y. Jordy's from my uh, shorts. No, just Jorts are J O R T S. Jorts. Mm, T Z. Uh, all right. Uh, why don't you start us off with your okay? Upstairs, I was wearing our Lagache Camion Mules um, on the S. I got the Throwing Fits X three sixteen mismatched oatmeal cream fatigues. Which it's, honestly, it's that time of the year again, folks. <sighs> Light pants like these are light trousers. These I think were truly some of our best work. Yeah, I mean, um, I think the sales Andrew the God sales speak for themselves on that one. I think everyone who got a pair of those is like super happy. I wish mine weren't covered in marinara sauce. Still, yeah, I mean, they're. I don't know if they're. Are you going to try and like salvage a uh, not not that pair, but like a, a different pair, like buying them on Grailed? I don't. <laughs> how would I get another pair at this point? I don't know. Um, sucks to be you because these pants are fucking yeah, awesome. They fucking rule. Thirty inch inseam, optional cinch at the ankle. Uh, the mismatched different fabrics, like we said, perfect summer pants. Perfect for whatever the fuck this is. 4S Designs t-shirt. We got the, I think this is El Salvador it flag. It is absolutely El Salvador. The state of New York flag. Mm-hmm. And then fucking God bless. stars and bars, baby. God bless. What's that in the back is just. It's just yeah, like, a, just like a triptych. Um, is, that, is that supposed to be Italy? Because, But it's like because it's Italian made. Oh, it, really? Look, uh, maybe, but it's obviously they're all tonal, so I couldn't say for sure. Could be France, could be Italy. At no, that. Just, there's no, Germany. Whatever. Yeah. I'm not so going to turn around. Like a flag. Um, Hanes boxers. Yo, I've been wearing a lot of boxer briefs in the gym. Ooh, welcome to the fucking club, baby. To keep the fucking boys close to home. I uh, I tried to wear, but I only have like a few pairs, yeah. right? So if I don't do laundry like over the weekend, then I'm kind of like scrounging for like various random um, boxer briefs. Do you I have. any like compression shorts or bike shorts or anything? No, I had to. I tried on Nike these equipment. I think somebody equipment. bought me Kith boxer briefs as a joke. Like years the ago, Calvin Klein collab or just straight up? No, just straight up Kith, okay. just great Kith boxer briefs. I tried to put them on. They were like too tight. And I was like, I'm going to throw up if I wear these. So I had to wear. Um, what size were they like? I don't know. So I had to small? wear some Versace ones. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you, were, you were in the gym in Versace boxer briefs? Yeah, like the really short ones. Briefs, just briefs. Yeah. Why do you have? Wait, <laughs> you have Kith briefs and you have Versace briefs? I own a lot. I, I weirdly own a lot of Versace. You really do. Me and DJ White Privilege have a tradition yes. where we go on the Versace website, sort price low to high mm-hmm. and buy each other. I have Versace house slippers. 
He has a Versace eye mask for sleeping. Mm -hmm. He has um, one year. I just got him fake Versace bath towels that are like they smell flammable. They smell like 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 insulation. Um, I mean, they're in his crib somewhere. Okay, I mean, like seen them being used just existing as a fire hazard generally speaking yeah i have the 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 versace underwear I have fake versace chains that he bought off amazon those are cool yeah i don't know where they are maybe i'll wear them out tonight you should you absolutely or when we talk about going gobble ghoul core yeah those could be like a little fucking, My fucking little please uh um <laughs> what, what other versace do i have i think that's maybe oh uh, and i have like vintage versace leather pants that i just bought off the uh dudes yeah your versace jeans yeah that you wore with heelys la- most recently yes and uh <laughs> Prada flame sweater or whatever the fuck. No, it was a vintage Marnie mohair okay, sweater. Gotcha. Um, I want to talk about inseams real quick. Yeah. Because we were at a we were in a meeting and we were talking about inseams, and the guy we were meeting with was like, Oh yeah, 32 is like big inseam top industry standard. But when we but we were like when we sold the 316 fatigues, we like took a risk and went 30 straight up across the board. And it was like almost like sisterhood of the traveling pants where it was magically perfect for everyone. So is our, and we were talking about short Kings Kings last week is our audience shorter than average. Well, I think our audience is maybe more urban and I don't mean that in a black way. <laughs> um, certainly not, Thank but you, I think Def it's Jam. <laughs> more urban dwellers uh, listen to the pod than fucking country folk. And when you're talking about the corn fed motherfuckers from Omaha and Iowa and Idaho and shit, I guess that's taters. Um, <laughs> like they're fucking tall and big. Our guys are nubby little urban dwellers nebbish. that live under fucking yeah. They're nebbishy. That li- they're ogres that live under troll under bridges. <laughs> so the thirty inch inseam. I mean, I don't think we're gonna get our way just because like the factory no, we're dealing we're with. We're not going like, to get our way. But uh, yeah, I think that and this and this guy is a fucking corn fed country boy. How tall is he? Six two. Six. He's well, a ho- well. He's a hooper. He's older, so he's shrinking. But he maybe was, like he went to you know, do you know he went to Wake Forest too? He was yeah. a walk on. Yeah. He was a he's a hooper. So I guess his uh, yeah, his his fucking vision is skewed on this. Yeah. But yeah. uh I don't think we're getting his our perspective way is way. much taller than ours. <laughs> yeah, I think so. He's looking down at us. But I don't think uh I don't think we're gonna get our way. So but I was just it was just a call back to last week with the short king talk. Yeah, yeah. A lot of inseam. Maiden name ring. Yeah. Um, and then a pawn. I told you this story last week, right? The fucking problematic yes. ring on mm-hmm. my other hand that I need to get resized. Pond to Aspen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wore, and we're both just drinking water today because we have our Nordstrom event Woo. soon. We're recording earlier today. Bro, fucking- I don't know if we're going to be able to get in an hour and a half, two weeks in a row here. We do got to fucking hit the fucking bridge. We got to return this cane, t- cane to this fucking disabled fucking man. <laughs> um, uh, man the back pain. Yeah. Sometimes I, I feel <laughs> like I can't get a fit off. That is, uh, you know, how you're always complaining how like I don't. Sometimes I feel like my only Jones. You yeah. What? You want to keep going? No, you complain <laughs> a lot of times publicly about how I don't do like any work with the run of show or like help out ahead yeah. of time. But imagine I hadn't shown up cold and just had an amazing visceral guttural reaction to that beautiful serenade that you had for Angelo. It would have been I'm just trying to justify <laughs> not my, doing work. My workflow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, even a broken clock is right twice a day. OK, I wore our legacy Cuban heel boots mm. to the crib. I have on Jacob Hetzer socks, who's the guy who makes the hat in our workout. Yeah, a lot somebody, of people were asking me about the hat. I'm like, okay, well, the reason we wore blank tees and blank hats is so you can focus on the shorts, right. the thing we are trying to sell. Uh, but I got a lot of requests about the hat. So I sent, you know, I was sending out links to Jacob's cool. site. But shout out Jacob Hetzer. Uh, I have on vintage Levi's 501s. I am wearing a 4S reversible knit polo with this. What is this ethnic motif? Do you know, <sighs> it's just ethnic enough, to, but not is, am too I culturally ethnic. appropriating? Yeah, but it was gifted to you by the by the indigenous person. Yeah. Um, so I think like you're good. But when I get spat on in Brooklyn, I don't think you go to people, Lil, you go to Lil El Salvador. Like, I don't think you're going to find yourself that far out in Queens, my guy. Yeah, you'll be good. Uh, and then no, I, this is so I got the black and white one. Mm-hmm. I prefer this colorway. Do you have a larger or medium? Medium. That fits a little big, but then it would be too big on you. See, I don't think, I we think swap. The, the 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 fit of everything is really good. It's really fucking good. The large fits me spot on. And I'm assuming the mediums fit you perfect. Yeah, which normally I'm like between a medium and large, but it's like 
Chef's kiss. Shout out fucking Angelo. That was awesome getting flow on pot. Yes. We didn't really like dive in and it would have, I mean, we had so much to cover that we didn't like. Oh, it's so cool to walk through the clothes we just got for free and describe them on, t- on the microphone. Yeah. Well, is that any better than you describing the meme of the week? The meme. Du- no, sure? but it's better than, well, I guess it's similar to <laughs> We're when a fashion pot. It's similar to when the merch man walked in here and you were live thirsting. You're like, yo, I don't want that green one. I want the blue one. Listen, I don't need video or mic to just live thirst, bro. I can do it <laughs> fucking in real time. Um, maybe we should do more like unboxing content for the $10 patrons. 